Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. Today we're going to have a two card pick and I'm not going to title it right away. I'm just going to see sort of what messages come. I feel right now it's mainly about like messages our guides, our angels and our spirit teams want us to hear. I feel like there's a lot of um, lifting ourselves like above our life situation and observing like as a witness right now you know what i mean how would we gauge our behaviors um understand that we're so much more than our stories that are going on right any given time we have interactions whether they be good bad or indifferent how we can kind of remove ourselves from those emotionally emotionally take stock of it and realize okay there's a better easier simpler way to go about that like for an example i just did a 30 minute read for you guys whatever happened the device did not connect audibly well so it was all sketchy and it was such a tremendous great channeled read but i was like you know what i'm not going to get upset my daughter came out and she started making her dinner and you know we started talking and i realized you know sometimes these things happen and um I didn't really let it bother me that much. I'm really accepting right now of letting it all go because everything that we're doing up until this point is leading us to where we need to be. We need to let go of things from the immediate past, um, from anything that distracts us from our mission, right? I mean, I could have just packed up everything all together and said, that's it, I'm not doing a video and had an attitude, right? And sometimes with regard, regardless of where our mindset is, we can reboot ourselves just by going, okay, listen, I choose to go down the chill avenue and take it easy, right? Because we're, we're all learning to clearly see what we're taking on from the outside influences and releasing them. So our energetic boundaries are fortified, right? I'm not taking in yesterday's frustrations that somebody might have said or done to me and adding on top of any kind of frustrations, right? Just releasing, releasing. I'm not jumping in into tomorrow and I'm not thinking that I have some crazy list, you know, nor should you. We're just sort of being light and free about it. So we're going to have a two card spread and any messages that come through, I'm just going to relate to you because um, I have I had really good mojo going a moment ago when I did the last video. So I'm hoping that all the uh, messages are as smooth and lovely as that because they were, sometimes I tear up and I choke up because I um, I don't even use a lot of these phrases or terminology. So when they come through, sometimes they're so illuminating to me as well because I'm in a calm space. I'm not um, allowing my own um, logic to integrate anything. I just channel straight through. And sometimes the messages are just so darn beautiful and relaxing and they help me release any anxiety or angst because I realize that, you know, we have in our capacity at any given time to release fear, to release anxiety, to let go of pressures that we put on ourselves for no apparent reason other than we think we have to accomplish and do. And who says that? It's actually us. It's our ego. So we just shut that off and go, who cares? I want to relax and take it easy and, you know, listen to my soul and listen to, you know, um, some beautiful music and take it easy. So let's see what some of the messages are. So and feel free to watch both of these. I have a two card spread. One is Ishtar boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others and their demands on your time and energy. Absolutely. Once I learned to do that, I could phase out so much aggravation for my life because I feel that I was always one that would be turning to the squeaky wheel. You know, people that were just like, look at me, listen to me, do this. Uh, family, friends, whatever it is, you know, coworkers and their distraction. Once we realize that we don't have to participate in that whatsoever, we gain a lot of ground, a lot of sanity, right? So the other one is Una, easy does it. There is no need to hurry or to force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Now this is huge for a lot of people and it certainly is for me because I know I do um, most of my businesses by myself now. It's like I do my readings, I collect all my materials, I do my set dressings, my pictures, my Instagram photographs, everything. And then my jewelry, I get all the materials, I make it, I package it up myself. So I will put an amazing amount of stress on myself at times to complete everything. Oh, by this day, I got to finish. If this order came in, I have to do it. And then when I just step into it with ease and go, you know, what? I'm going to get done what I can humanly get done. I'm going to enjoy it. This is my passion. This is my vocation. If I try to make it get some chokehold on it, like it's a work and, and a task, it takes on a different color, right? So it's all about just allowing, allowing to go with the flow of things and do things with ease and 
and take it easy and not try to push because when we're trying to go through some amazingly long checklist for no apparent reason other than to um, assuage our ego that says, oh, we did this, this, and that. And in the end, who really cares, right? I would rather have a day where I said I did absolutely nothing but read a book and took it easy. And I have all my wits about me and I'm kind to my family and friends because I'm in a good state of mind. Then like, just think of like the epitome of a New Yorker that's just like everybody out of my way, walking a hundred miles an hour, go do, go do, go do. Like there's an aggression to that, right? And we're releasing all that. We don't need aggression. We don't need to race. We're not in some unholy alliance with father time. It's like, we're just, we're taking it easy. It's good. So I'm going to let you guys make your choice. We're going to see what messages come through first. I want to choose one of these for you as well. So one of your messages is about Machig Lab, I think it's Lab Drawn, the diamond-hearted Dakini. I see the light in my own darkness. I force my ego beliefs to feel free. Now, this is really wonderful because I remember once watching Colette saying that she pretends her ego is a little baby and she wraps it in a blanket. She takes it up on stage and says, <clears throat> you know, um, I understand you're just scared or something like that. And she goes, and then you hug it. You pretend it's like a tiny little troll or something like that, an ugly little critter, whatever it is. You know, I always picture it like um, that that thing that is like my precious, you know, like a scared little hobgoblin. And you say, listen, I recognize you. I know you're coming from a place of um, fear, competitiveness and all that stuff, but I release you. And once we do that, I'm serious, you step into this most peaceful state of mind because then your soul steps in and goes you know everything's all right whoever you are and whatever you're doing is perfectly fine with me and it's perfectly fine with the world you don't need to second guess yourself your actions or your accomplishments you are perfectly fine as is you know that is such a wonderful thing to just allow right allow yourself to be you don't need to accomplish or have some crazy checklist to be um an to be a loving person, right? You're just a beautiful, energetic, angelic entity that is here trying to be human, get through life with some some of your um, faculty still in place, right? So look at this beautiful energy with Knight of Swords. I feel like, yeah, a lot of clarity is coming in and logic and you're going to have all these beautiful stepping stones that get you to your goals with very little effort because you're not fighting or you're not actually combating yourself anymore and saying, oh, you know, you've got to do this. You have to do that. The cat is scratching back there. You know, it's all, it makes all the difference in the world when you say, I'm just going to do what's necessary and all the rest is gravy, right? You're going to feel really free with your self-expression. You're going to have a lot of charisma in the next coming months because um, I feel at times that you are a strong personality and um, you have a lot of fiery, dramatic energy about you and you feel free to just express it whenever you want. But on the flip side too, sometimes you feel a little drained and you don't want to be so public. You want to go back and regard your feelings and have some peace and quiet and Netflix out and chill and just, you know, have your alone time and feel balanced and get all your components back together, right? We are never just one thing. We are never we are not a one-dimensional being for sure. We are super multidimensional. We have many layers. Sometimes, you know, we can be fractious and argumentative. Sometimes we can, we can put up with so much stuff and still feel harmony and peace and alignment, right? It depends how um, balanced our chakras are, our chi, if our energy is flowing, if we feel ill, if we feel great, it all depends, right? And you're working with these energies to your best benefit, which is really nice because when we do that, we don't burn out. So I'm feeling that you have another message for, coming from you from the water guardian that says, connect with your emotions. And that's just what I was speaking about, right? If you feel up and ready for a crowd, you can go to that concert, go to that party and feel great. If you feel a little run down and tired, feel free to extric- extricate yourself from any plans that you had made, right? I feel like a lot of people impose um, too much pressure on themselves to say yes to invites and people, places and things when they're offered. I always say right away, oh, I'll get back to you because I'm unsure. I never yes right away and then I have to cancel. You know what I mean? That way I always, you know, promise little and deliver big on that account, right? When we yes people to death because, you know, we're just trying to placate or we're not balanced, that's why we need to slow down. When we slow down, we hear our emotions. We know our emotional state. We know what avenue we're coming down. We know 
um, that we have choices, right? We always want to leave our choices open. We don't want to feel obligated to do things that we might not want to do, right? So you're going to be really strong in that regard and really powerful in yourself and your convictions as well by setting up your boundaries and just knowing that um, you need your rest, you need your time alone, your daydream time and and to do what you want, right? I feel like you're really stepping into some magnificent energy. Yeah, I was like, my mind was going, pick that card, pick that card. Look at that emperor card. We'll put them right on the crown. Yeah, you're stepping in where like your decision making skills are extremely on point because you are coming from a place of grounded power. Like you have a lot of fortitude and good naturedness about you in the next coming weeks. So you um, feel really magnanimous about, yeah, what I have, I will give, but what I don't want to, I don't have to. And the emperor is all about that, choosing a direction to go and just following their their bliss. They know, and like emperors, it's funny, um, they know about boundaries. They know about, um, you know, retaining power when they need it emotionally and otherwise. So you're going to be really standing in a super good, strong, grounded place. You're going to be eating well. You're going to be caring for your body. I feel like a lot of you took on some new dietary stuff and you're doing like those fun power shots, turmeric, I'm hearing beet juice. Like you're doing a lot of juicing, cleansing, and it's really good for you because you're feeling it. You're feeling your oats, your power, your strength, your vitality right now. So that's really beautiful for you. So love and light to this group. That's you guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome and don't forget to press like and subscribe if you like the video and all my links are down below if you'd like to support my channel my patreon page is down there thank you patrons so much and um, all my information on private reads and instant go as well I can do quick text answers if you guys are you know you have an urgent pressing matter I get right back to that I have a little um, bell that goes off on my phone so I can help you with that and your reads take precedence if you guys want a private read I finish them within 24 48 hours I just do I put everything else on the back burner I feel like time is is rich for it right then when I receive it. I actually start to receive messages right away. So it's important, you know, to work with the channeling energy so you don't have a wait for that as well. And if you'd like to come see me on Instagram, we're on SparkQuest11. We do a lot of fun things. We do reads, daily stuff, funny memes. It's a great tribe over there. We have a great um, exchange of, you know, um, ideas and humor, and it's really, really wonderful. So that's you guys, a beautiful energy. Yeah, you're just going... No, thank you. Yes, please. You know, you're cherry picking what you want and you're saving your energy, which is important. So now we're on to Una. Easy does it. I love that. Easy does it. So here's one of your first messages. Yeshi, I'm thinking it's Sogal. Lady of the Lotus born, embodiment of the deepest bliss. My body was made for enlightenment. You're stepping into this lovely stage of... Um, lightness of heart, lightness of soul, openness to like, I feel like your third eye is really open. I feel like this group in particular is receiving so many downloads. You guys, your ears are probably ringing. Your synchronicities are off the charts with the numbers are probably going crazy. You're hearing the same songs over and over. Your dreams are off the charts, trying to signify things to you. Um, keep a paper and pen by but close by, I do that. Like I, we all go through these stages, and with this new third super moon coming up, there is going to be some wonderful insights that are going to help you have breakthroughs in a lot of ways. How to say no, how to ask for what you really want, how to boost your emotional emotional intelligence around people, and really read who's telling you the truth, who who really needs help, who's crying out, who. Um, whose friendships you'll benefit from in a state of mind and state of heart type of way. Um, um, also guiding you to eat the right things and care for your body and, you know, get those vitamins, minerals, rest properly, treat yourself well, listen to your body signals. It's all about that. That enlightenment is just going to wrap you in this warm intellectual blanket that says, here's the information you need to care for yourself, for people that might help, need your help as well. I feel like a lot of these people are also light workers, empaths, and very helpful um, beings down here. They're definitely made, you know, a lot of star seeds, a lot of indigos are here to help others, but you need to recover your time and your space as well in order to have peace. Yeah. So you have planted. I love this. You have definitely done the work and you've planted these seeds and now things are just starting to germinate and come down. You're waiting patiently. You got your puppy on your lap. Um, this beautiful earthy grounded energy with these pentacles. So you really can set a course in the right direction. 
and you're listening to your inner dialogue, you're also listening to all all systems with yourself, physically, all, all your chakras. Like when you really need to slow down and heal, you're going to do that and you're going to care for yourself. You're going to find your voice. You're going to be able to speak up when you need to ask for that raise, say no to people that are um, trying to step over boundaries. Um, you're going to release old hurts and pains because you realize it doesn't behoove us in any way to carry that extra weight around. Why in the world would we do that? Why would we take up space where we should create a void for bigger, better, brighter things to come in? And now your abundance, you're going to be awash with some lovely abundance because you've done the work. Ooh, Palace of Wands. I don't even know what that is. This is a new deck. And um, I'm thinking that's um, that's almost like um, a, you know what? I didn't even see this card before. So I'm going to look at this, but I'm already getting messages from this. I'm healing. I'm feeling that this is like a passion palace. Passions that you've been putting on the back burner, projects, artistic endeavors, and things like that are really going to come to the fore right now. Your creativity is going to go off the charts. You're going to be able to... Um, navigate your um your skill sets like things that were latent things that were quieted there's missing pieces to some things you wanted to create but you're going to be able to figure out the logistics of it and complete projects also i feel like you've started things and you've put them away but now you're going to um finish them like you're like that was a great idea why did i ever put that you know on the back burner and now um in this phase that you're at you're just like you know what the world is my oyster. I can do anything, create anything, be anywhere, do anything. And this I feel too is a passion for travel and that you guys, um, you know, I love this before enlightenment, that chop, that chop wood, carry water after enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. You're, you're getting ideas, but you're realizing I have to, I still have to work at it. I still have to go. I have to move. Um, there's endeavors that need my attention. Keep going. And I feel like that, um, you're you're really going to be able to work with the four elements that are always coursing through our veins fire earth water and air they're the same four elements that symbolized by the wand coin cup and sword that appear you know on the magician card i feel like you're going to put all those in you're really going to have your logic working for you your passion is going to be in full gear you're going to be able to um just really give emotionally to others and it's because you're inspired i mean i feel like you're divinely inspired you're listening to your inner voice it says of course you have the capabilities and the skill sets to do this of course you do you don't have to do it all in one day take a step you know add a couple brush strokes to that painting a couple words to that poem you know a dab of this a dab of that and slowly watch it build into this you know palace of power sort of thing because you have it in you and the only thing that ever stops us usually is our stupid ego which we're we're tired of it's always chiming in oh that you know that'll never look good enough that'll never be this is not i've learned that just like mine can be like a faucet i shut it right off if i feel because i can be a perfectionist at certain things i'll make an entire necklace and then be like nope it, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's the weirdest thing. Like it'll be, I'll think one beat is out of place and then I'll go, wait a minute. Five minutes ago, I thought this thing was a sublime piece of beauty. And now all of a sudden it's garbage. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like our ego really needs to shut, shut up. And that's what this palace of wands is about. Follow your bliss, follow your passion, write that song, sing that song, dance, do whatever you want to do to create. And, and your passion is going to be super contagious and you're going to start to really um, have a lot of magnetism to people and a lot of passion is going to arise over the next um, few months for you too because you're feeling everything. And you you know, it's like that thing where um, people, they're in the cold winters of hell and then they step out into you know Spanish sunshine and they start dancing and they have beautiful food and there's water and, and just passion ignites, right? Because you feel warm, you feel, um, you know, kissed by the sun. It's that kind of energy and I love that for you. So that's you guys, beautiful energy. I love it. So love and light to you guys. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe and also the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come up. And um, all my links are down below. If you want to go see my Etsy store, it has all these fun things. I'll put the crown in there. I have a bunch of crowns, tons of rings, um, handmade jewelry. I want to show you this one thing I had on here. I forgot that I made this. Look how crazy this thing is. I forgot I made this and I had just tossed it like on a t on one of my tables and I love it. It's got 
I love Asian influences. I made it out of shell and onyx, which is very protective. And then it just has these beautiful crystals and um, an onyx at the bottom. I sometimes, when I feel drained, I start buying and creating a lot of things in onyx because I do feel like it's very deflective of negative energy. Um, yeah, so you guys just really get out there and be yourselves because it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off big. Okay, so, and all my links are down below, you guys, if you want to go to also my private reads, all the stuff on my Patreon page, if you want to support the channel, everything is down there. And also, if you want to come over to Instagram, um, it's sparkrist11. I love Instagram because it's like fun. You can do postings and quick reads and um, everybody shares little tidbits of their lives and their animals. It's really, really fun. So love and light to you guys.